We are gathered here this afternoon just ahead of the winter solstice to witness and celebrate the love shared by my friend, Lee and Kit. Traditionally, the winter solstice is a time to honor the past and look forward to new beginnings. So what a better time to gather as the people who have walked through life with Kit and Lee up until this point to celebrate the beginning of their life's next chapter. As all of you know, Katrina and Lee are the most fantastical and most magical people you could ever meet. They are also the people least likely to admit that they are magic, unless, of course, they are talking about each other. So if you will indulge me, I'm going to take advantage of having the mic, and I'm going to talk about their magic and brag about my friends for a second. Lee, you are the kindest and most genuine person I have ever met. The kind of person who wants to heal and help others. Lee is a bright light, handsome on the inside and out. Lee, you are a unexpected kind of magic. Being a creative person is inherently magical, and Kit, you are the most creative person I have ever met. I have been assured that the sparkles always around Katrina are not in fact magical fairy dust, but rather cracked glue. We are still waiting for the lab results to come back on that. <laughs> Today is significant for Lee and Kit because y'all are standing before the people who have known you longest, and the people who know you best. These are the families you were born into, and the families you created. Katrina and Lee have chosen to exchange rings as a symbol of their commitment. These rings are made of precious metal that will be rendered all the more precious by their love. Even as you grow and change, these rings will serve as a reminder of your promise to love and support each other, today and always. Katrina, as you place this ring on Lee's finger, repeat after me. With this ring, I promise to love you today and always. With this ring, I promise to love you today and always. Lee. As you place this ring on Katrina's finger, repeat after me. With this ring, I promise to love you today and always. With this ring, I promise to love you today and always. With that, it is my pleasure and absolute honor to pronounce you married. Go ahead and kiss each other!
Lee and I met in the way that is customary for our people, <laughs> namely on Tinder. A few days later, I found myself standing outside the coffee shop where we'd agreed to have our first date. But as I looked up and saw Lee walking toward me, I realized I hadn't just been waiting to meet them for a few minutes. I'd been waiting to meet them for my entire life. It was like that scene when Dorothy, that's me in this scenario, <laughs> opened the door to Oz for the first time. After many years of making do with sepia tones, my hope for a more vibrant life had turned me into a storm chaser. And a few tornadoes later, here I was blinking up at Technicolor. That's you, baby. You're Technicolor. Of course, it wasn't just proximity that made falling in love with me feel so inevitable. It was our shared tendency to dive into deep conversations instead of waiting for small talk. We had to pause several times during our first date after getting swept away by yet another existential quandary to reel it in by asking, so what's your favorite color? One of the things we have in common is that we don't make choices based on what's easy. We make choices based on what's true. And you, my love, are the truest thing I've ever known. Being with you, I finally understand what it means to be loved without having to play it small or play pretend, without prerequisite or condition. And as if that weren't miraculous enough, I also get to love you back. I get to kick off my ruby slippers at the end of the day and curl up in your arms, having finally called off the search for a way back from Oz, because wherever I find myself falling asleep with my head on your chest, I'm already home. <laughs> you are my favorite color. You are my home. You are the best friends I've ever made. So, thank you all again for being here to witness this singularly beautiful day of our life together. And thank you, Lee, for making every single day of my life as beautiful as this one. And now, <laughs> let's enjoy this gorgeous meal in this gorgeous space with this gorgeous company. But first, if you would mind raising your glasses again and toasting my gorgeous new spouse.